our long-term contractors calls us up and says, hey, I've got all this stuff. This guy paid somebody and got a bunch of hotel furniture. So there were 20 beds, dressers, 20 nightstands or 40 nightstands and a whole bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. So the guys bring it back. They're unloading it at the shop where a lot of it was in pretty rough shape. The reason that the guy ended up doing a junk removal on all the stuff he bought is because whoever took it out, they didn't treat it very nicely. So we're going through some of it, keeping some of it to sell. And there's a can next to me and we're unloading one of our trucks. And I kick the can and I'm like, hey, what's in there? Because it looked like garbage. So one of the guys that works for us, his name's Dale. He said, oh, that's full of poker chips. He says, um, you want me to go throw them away? I'm like, wait a second, poker chips? That sounds kind of fun. I wonder if they're worth something. I had them put them in my truck. I brought them home and I just sat on them for a long time. Didn't do anything with them. Then, uh, then I got them out and I looked up on eBay and I found that there were a few sales on them. So then I got kind of a little bit more excited. They were in a garbage can and I moved them over into a, a five gallon bucket, a clear one. And I waited about three weeks. I ordered the little uh, holders that, that the chips sit in if you have them at the casinos. So I ordered those, I waited for them to get here and I sat them down and I stacked them all up nice and neat. And you'll see a picture of them in this video. And I got real excited. I took the time to look them up on eBay. And once I looked them up on eBay, just two of them, these two, if you look at the completed sale on eBay, this listing right here, it sold for 48 bucks for two of them. I have 3,300 poker chips. Now I don't have 3,300 of these, but I have 3,300 of them. So we put them on eBay and we've been selling them and it's really cheap to, to mail something like that. So I might have two or three bucks in mailing them at the most. If you look at the completed sales on here, this is somebody else selling them. I don't have all of these chips, but I have most of them. I don't have the ones that say unit on them, but I have the 25s, the fives, the ones and the twos. I have a bunch of them. So we figured it out and we did it on average and we did some math. And let's go back and I'll show you another one of our um, listings. So we're back here to poker chips. This is one of our actual listings. We sold this $2 poker chip and it sold for $4.99. I have 437 left that are available. This $5 chip, selling them for $7.99. There's 1,335 of them left. So, if you do the rough math and you average it all out, and let's just say that they all sell for $5 a piece on average. So $3,300 or 3,300 units times $5 a piece. It's pretty freaking exciting. So my $366,150 worth of poker chips, face value, vintage poker chips, they're not being used anymore. On eBay, it's going to bring me about $15,000 over the next year or so, however long it takes to sell them. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's a rare thing to find something like that. This was going to go in the garbage. It was headed to the dumpster. And here we are. We're selling them on eBay. The really interesting and fun thing about this is this facility is exactly across the street from my shop. We actually rent a space for about 50 of our vehicles from the old dog track that they tore down. So these chips were sold. And when they closed down the dog track, they somehow got into this warehouse down in Naples that they just sold and they were they had to get it cleaned out. And they ended up venturing back to us, which were right across the street from the dog track. And we're selling them on, on eBay. We're basically in the junk removal business. We're in the interior demolition business. And we make money on doing the demo. And then we make a little less money on the demos because we're going to give people credits. But what we're doing is we're keeping all this stuff out of the landfill. We're reselling stuff. We're taking furniture and stuff that's perfectly good that would normally end up in a dumpster if it was one of my competitors. We're repurposing it. It's a lot more effort, a lot more work. It's profitable. 
But that's what we're doing and that's the exciting thing. If you like what we're doing, you wanna see something specific, leave us some comments and let us know what we're doing good. We sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the like button. Dave Lockwood, Remove It Pros.